my perfect boy, my truest friend, noble and fierce. You'll be inspected soon, but I won't wait for that. The hiring agents, they've already applied that. You're a good dog, you're a good dog. I won't let them take you, take you away. Best rapper ever. <laughs> Hello there my friends and welcome to another edition of Dwarfsky Plays and today we are playing Animal Inspector. I get to inspect some animals, I'm super excited, let's do this. Oh, hello there. My name is Martha. It's a wonderful, it's wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just standing out here as well? Yes. Drag a fish to my mouth. What? <laughs> what? How exciting. Well, I'm very much looking forward to this. It will be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Hmm. Do you see that young man over there? Hello, young man. I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude. So I am glad that you're here. Oh, but enough of this. I'm very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you in any case. <laughs> <laughs> you're all the new employees? Okay. Well, I'm in charge here. Um, listen up. Yo. This job's pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms. Go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals. Reject bad or useless animals. Don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Look at this face. I'm taking it very seriously. Um. Oh yeah, one more thing. Please make sure to comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasoning. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's it, I guess. Cool! Yeah, sure. That's it? Oh, wait, he's supposed to be a douchebag. Is there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if, you're screwed, if you've screwed up. But try not to. Screw up. Okay, you'll each find a stack of forms in your desks. I'm starting you all off easy, but please be thorough. <laughs> he seems nice. You think so too, right? Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Yes, a good boss, I think. Well, it seems that our day is about to begin. Is it time to go inspect some animals? Okay, let's go inspect some animals. We'll chat some more tomorrow. All right, let's do this. Oh, he's so cute. I love puppies. All right. Nature goof. Species lowly pooch. Good for petting. We all love love this fuzzy dog a lot. Alvarez family. Click to type. Spectre. He's so cute. Boom. Approved. Yeah. We're good. Tiny cat. Nature aloof. Kills mice. She didn't let me touch her a few months ago, but now I pet her every day. Samantha L. You know what? She, she she kills mice, you know? So, I mean, the cat, I'm not a huge fan of cats, you know? But, I mean, like, yeah, he's, he's useful. They told me to find a useful dog or animals of some sort. Mice. Whoops. Oh, wait, I'm still on caps lock. <laughs> kills mice. Great for pests. Boom. Boop. All right, cool. Species how cat. Timid. Reminder of simpler days. He's easy, he easily becomes afraid, but this cat is good. He is, he is family. Michelle N. Click to type. Emotion. All. Let's see if I can spell. Port. And. Emol. Let's see if I can type actually today. So yeah, let's prove this bad boy. Kachink. Yeah. All right, we're good. Proved all the animals, sweet. Okay, um, welcome back, I guess. Pretty good job yesterday. Pretty good. 
some of you, and I won't name any names, but you know who you are, have been a little too liberal with approvals. The whole point of this agency is to cull the herd. That means you can't just blindly let everything through. What do you mean I'm blind? I had very legitimate reasons for letting all those animals through. Because, I mean, like, I don't think that we should have a say in, like, what animals live or die. Except if that animal has, like, rabies or something. Then, yes, clearly the animal should be put out of its misery. Because rabies is a terrible, awful disease, okay? I'm just saying. From now on, I need you all to reject at least one animal. Well, fuck. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Um... Okay, yeah, that's it. Hmm. Well, um, didn't really think I needed to explain this, but, well, when you comment on forms, you should, um, try to spell things correctly. <laughs> hey, you know what? I don't come into your house judging the way you spell when you're erratically judging the fates of animals. I know mistakes happen, but your job is kind of not to make mistakes. And you made some with that last batch. Maybe you don't think your spelling is important, but you're a professional now. You know what? I don't care if I'm a professional. I'm a professional let's player, you know, and I can do whatever the fuck I want, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, please try to act like it. Just a warning this time. But if this happens again, I'll have to give you a strike. And another thing. Okay, so this is just a warning, but please clean up your forms a little bit before turning them in. There should be a little feather duster on your desk. Standard issue. So, uh, use it maybe? Okay, whatever. Cool. Okay, good. Anyways, next time this happens, you're going to get a strike. So, um, uh, don't. Let it happen. Hello again! How was your first day? Ah, it was good. I saved some animals' lives, you know. I'm, I'm pretty boss like that. Cool. Lovely! My day was grand! Such wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course I approved all of them. Though, I guess I cannot do that anymore. Good luck today, dear. Alright, let's see this. Hey. We never really talked to you. I'm Alan. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like, really, just the worst. You know what I'm saying, yeah? Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you get me. Anyways, good to meet you. Alright, cool. So it's a snake. It's quiet. No known use. This is my snake. This is my snake. It's very neat. My friends are scared, but I'm not. Shelly. Shelly, you know what? You're a brave person, but I hate to say it, but no use. Are you going to be, like, really, like, grammar Nazi on my grammar? Okay, so let's... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So, I hate to say it, Snake, but you toast. You dunzo. I'm sorry. House cat, nervous. Sheds. Civilian appeal? No appeal. I want to say no to this cat, but it's like... It's got... Okay, if I'm looking at this objectively, not as like a terrible, horrible person that's putting down animals just because they don't have an inherent use. This cat has no apparent use. It just, it just sits around, it's nervous, it sheds its shit everywhere, you know? And it's just, there's no civilian appeal. Uh, no use, dot, 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 sorry. Boom! Rejected. Ancient Hound! Wow! Resigned. Good for petting. Mike, the family dog. He's old, but he's part of the household. You know what, Johnny? I like Gary, like your attitude. He will... All right, I gotta be grammatically correct. He will be dead soon. Just give him this. All right, cool. So, I'm gonna approve you because, like, you're an ancient hound. I want your life to be... Boom. Wait, yeah, yeah. It's all cleaned up. We're good. Shouldn't bitch at me now. Uh, well, it's a new day. So, I'm, uh, there's a bit of a space concern. Basically, what I mean by that is there's some concerns about space. Specifically, the space of all these animals that are taking up. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Please prioritize rejections of larger animals. What? All things being equal, anyways. What? Really? Anything close to human size? That's the size I'm talking about. A people-sized animal. 
unbelievable. After all, the whole point of this is to, well, make space, I guess. What do you mean? You're bitching at me for rejecting animals now? What? Isn't that my job? Hmm. Oh, hello, dear. Sorry, but I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all his animals. I just do not agree with that. But he does not want to listen to me. He called me. Well, dear, he said that I'm out of touch. Can you believe it? Actually, no, I can't believe it. What a dick. Thank you, dear. You're so much nicer than Alan. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I rejected an animal. Not a cat, of course. It was just a fish. The nature, natural enemy of cats. <laughs> but still. It does not feel good. Not at all. Dear, I know we have our instructions, but I do not think you should be rejecting cats. I just do not think it's right. Cats are very intelligent creatures, you know. In some way, a cat is smarter than you or me. So, do you understand now? Do you promise to approve the cats? You know what? This is presenting me with so- I was not expecting so many moral choices. Yes, I do. I won't- I won't reject the cats, because I like you. I'm- I'm just a sucker. I'll fully admit it. Like, I'm not a mean person, really. <laughs> I'm so glad. See you tomorrow. Well, I'm a mean person if the person's mean to me. How's it going? I've been getting rid of pretty much all of my animals. Seriously, I've got no tolerance for useless things. I may not love this job, but I'm gonna do it well. See you around. What a fucking asshole. Okay, I'm a dick to that guy, and he's a big pooch. Nature in charge. Strong tail. The dog is big. You know what? I don't even care what this guy says. This dog looks like a nice dog. He is large and he in charge. Fuck, I know I should reject him. But I don't want to. I don't want to reject him because look, he looks so sad. He's making me sad right now just looking at him. He looks like he's in the Sarah McLaughlin commercial. In the arms of the angel. It's just swaddling his furry bod. Because you told me no bit big and and it I had a brain fart. Malls. Okay. You monster. Well, you know what? If I'm gonna reject him, I'm gonna make him feel bad about it. So yeah, fuck you guy. Ant farm? Oh dude, no. Ants! Yeah, that's a no-brainer. I don't want ants. Oh my god, those! What? He's a tiny puppy. He's squeaky. Fits in the lap. This brutish pooch bit my left hand and drew blood. I think I'll need stitches. Inspector Agent 1677. Very. Very aggressive. Okay, see that one I can't feel bad about because that is like a legitimate reason dogs do get put down. But I still feel bad. You know, he's probably just scared and he's like, fuck, this game is making me feel so bad. So, uh, good morning. Just got word from the department head. Basically, well, they think you've all been doing great. Really great. So great, in fact, that they're bumping up the inspection quota. So, um, well, you know you have five animals to each look through. Also, this means you each need to reject two, because there are more animals. And you, listen, well, well, well. Here we are again. Look, I get it. Spelling isn't easy, especially when you don't have a dictionary on hand. What do you mean? I spelled perfectly! Or a fancy computer to spell check your words. Well, guess what? There's no budget for these things. It's just not in the cards. But you're in luck, because I have suggestions to help you out. Uh, so, one more thing you can do is just avoid tricky words. Maybe you find yourself asking something like, Does wonderful have two L's or one? Well, in that case, you could use a simpler word instead. Good. Nice. Okay. Just a little trick I picked up. Hopefully it will help. But in the meantime, I'm still gonna have to give you a strike. This is only your first strike, so don't worry about it too much. But if you get three, you're done. Oh, by the way, I appreciate you rejecting the big dog. It was definitely a large animal. Maybe even the largest. It's good to know someone was listening, so, um, yeah, good job. Though, in the future, well, no, never mind. What? 
Oh! Oh dear, that poor dog. Was it really the least useful animal? I'm not really a dog woman, but... Well, I think it made the its owners happy. This job is not what I thought it would be. I'm trying my best to be fair to these animals, but it's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions, instructions I do not always agree with. I used to run a company, you know. It was a long time ago. We sold, sold computers. Back then, it was mostly just companies that bought them. They were not very affordable. We sold these machines for a very high price, probably too high, but we made a lot of money. I think some of my employees were similar to our boss, following my instructions without entirely agreeing. I guess what I'm saying is, well, I think I do understand him. I think maybe it's just hard on him. Just as hard on him as it is on us. You know what? That's actually... Okay, speaking... this is I'm going to pause the game here for a minute. Speaking from a viewpoint of actually managing a restaurant and stuff like that, being the boss, like, is not fun. Like, yeah, you got those guys that, like, will, like, totally just be a total dick and let the power go to their head. But me personally, like... I only had to fire like three people. I was a manager for like two years and each one of those like, and there were like legitimate reasons for firing someone. You know, like they weren't just like, I was just being an asshole. Like it was still one of the hardest things. And like, I felt awful afterwards. Like it was just terrible. So like, I, I get that, that, that spoke to me. Oh man, this job. I don't want to say this loudly, but well, it's boring, yeah? A real drag. Very repetitive. God, can you imagine doing this for the rest of your life? Gives you a real appreciation for more education. Like seriously, poor Martha. She's basically at the end of her life. She's ancient. So old. Like, just look at her. You know what? Fuck this guy. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything led for her. Man. Yeah, real happy that's not me. Like I said, I don't think I'll be here long. You'll probably make it out here too. You're good at this, I can tell. Oh man. So like, what's with all these stacks? Not, not, <laughs> not one good animal in the bunch, right? They said this job would be tough. Morally speaking, of course. But wow, yeah. So far, it just really isn't. Well, see you. I hate that guy. And you know what? I'm tired of everyone's shit. Because I love all these animals. And I'm just going to approve this fucking shit. I'm not going to follow his rules. Yeah, you know what? Boom. I'm going to do that. Boom. I approved all the cats. They're all cats now, I bet. <laughs> I'm going to approve this. Approve this cat. Boom. And approve this cat. Boom. And you know what? I'm not going to type anything on these. Actually, you know what? I'm going to type things on this. Fuck you. Oh, shit. Microphone. Get out of the way. <laughs> Fuck you. You monster. Hope you die. That's the end. Boom. Period. That was a giant run on sentence. I don't even care. All right. School. Sweet. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna organize this shit. Um, okay, so, I'm sorry to say it, but old Mindy has come down with the flu. Who? Who the hell's Mindy? You know, Mindy. Oh, old Mindy. Everyone knows Mindy. In any case, um, well, someone needs to take care of her, take her places in the cages. And today, that someone is Alan. Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. I'm ready to get fired. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... Exemplary... Um... Exemplary... See, you can't even spell exemplary. Performance here these past few weeks. Yeah, you know what? You're, you're like, critiquing me on my... On my spelling? And you can't even spell the word exemplary? Do you even know what the word exemplary means? I'm so fed up with this job. I don't even care. I'm gonna read in. Yo, I've been doing so well. So, you need to worry about increased quotas. Good work out there, everyone. Hey, come talk with me a second. I just wanted to say, this isn't easy for me. Well, I respect your decision. That was tough round, round of animals. Not the animals themselves were tough. I mean, maybe they were. I'm not really sure, honestly. Cats can be sort of mean. <laughs> well, what I meant was, the decision. That was a tough decision. Uh, well, I still have to give you a strike. We have quotas to meet. But you should know. Well, you should know that I think we're screwed. we screwed up. A household should be split up amongst multiple inspectors. Giving you all those cats was unprofessional. This is your second strike, by the way. One more screw up and I'll have to let you go. Also, okay, whoa. Well, I have to admit it. You, um, well, you caught me a bit off guard. You, uh, well, you really shouldn't use language like that. This is 
<laughs> I guess probably should have said something beforehand. So consider a warning, I guess. Seriously, don't. Don't use those kinds of words again. You never know who might be reading. Another thing too. Okay, well this is the this is the second time. You need to clean up your forms before handing them in. A clean workspace is key to efficient day. That's what the manual says anyway. Okay, but seriously, clean up after yourself. It's things like this that separate us from the animals. I'm giving you a strike. Pack your bags. You want no expenses paid trip to your own house. It's one way. There are no flights back. You don't work here anymore. Cool! I'm glad I don't work here anymore. Cause you know what? This is terrible. You're a terrible- wait a minute. Those motherfuckers! I totally forgot! I totally forgot that I was supposed to be saving my dog! Oh my gosh! And the sound is like messed up in my headphones. I don't know, my headphones do a weird thing where the sound like gets all grainy, but... Oh, that makes me- uh, Dang it! That was like all for nothing! That was literally all for nothing! I was supposed to be saving my dog, and I didn't save my dog, and I didn't save any animals because I ended up murdering some of these animals. Damn it! <sighs> well, maybe I was the hero that these animals deserved. But not the one I needed right now. Anyway, that was Animal Inspector. I hope you guys liked this video. <laughs> this was an interesting game. It made me feel terrible in so many ways, in ways I didn't even know I could feel terrible. So this game just goes to show you that moral ambiguity kind of sucks. So, without any further ado, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have yourself a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now. Bye. 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 You gonna go in? Might as well, if you can't leave. You can... I'll save right here. Yeah. In fact, I should save twice. Fucking A, do it. What's your friend Emma doing? No, this isn't what I want!